There's been some discussion about how these infrared videos show impossibly high accelerations and g-forces. This is the end of the Nimitz video where the UFO shoots off and it looks like it accelerates uh, very rapidly. You can see here it's going slowly and then suddenly BAM! It starts going really fast. And someone pointed me to this analysis uh, by a retired physics professor who calculates a massive g-force at this point in the graph where it goes from the v1 velocity 1 to v2 velocity 2 and you can see this here in the uh, video where it uh, the UFO suddenly jumps there and it speeds up and that corresponds to this point here so here it's going at this velocity and here it's going at this velocity with this sudden jump in the middle uh, and the impossible g-forces. However, he misses the fact that this coincides with a change in the zoom level from 1.0 to 2.0. And to get it, that means that to get an accurate track of the object, we need to shrink down the second half of the video uh, by 50%. So I've done that here. And now, if you look uh, at the motion of the object, you can see there really isn't any speed up at all. The object, in fact, moves more or less the same speed uh, with no massive g-forces required.